Come on, hey, wake up. Come on, hey. Hey, wait. No, no, dude. Yeah, just when things were getting good for him, too. Come on. Oh, he'll be all right, I guess, as usual. Hey, you're in luck. You're going to get a trial. Why don't you try to stick around for it? Trial? Come How come he gets a trial? Don't worry, we'll get something, too. They took us out to exercise the first time he did that, remember? Maybe they'll give us another happy meal. He's been here just six months and he got a trial. How about seven me? Seven months. Happy crappy. Six months, seven months. What's the difference? I've been here one year and eleven Last months having got one. I'm saying seven months again and again. So it must be more than seven months. Now. Would you let me finish what I'm saying, you sons of pigs? I'll say something new for a change. Huh? You want a trial? What's your problem? You don't know how to make a noose? What is it with you guys? We give you good food, nice, clean beds, toilets. You ever even seen plumbing back in Afghanistan? Huh? And yet you still act as if we're treating you badly. Look at you. You must have gained 10 pounds since you've been here. If you keep this up, we're going to have to put you in a padded cell until your trial. Did you hear what I said, Mansoor Ali? This is your lucky break. You're going to get a trial. Do you understand me? Do you need a translator? I know the language. Well, then it's my duty to inform you that you've been charged with terrorism against the United States. You have two choices. Plead guilty and get away with just 20 years. Or plead not guilty and stand trial. If you win, you go home. Well, then you'll just get help with what you've been trying to do anyway. Terrorists face the death penalty. This is the United States, Mr. Ali. Even enemy combatants get the best treatment. We have a lawyer for you. Damn good one, too. His name's Edgar Barrons. He's here to see you now. Can you take the shackles off, please? Mr. Ali, I'm Edgar Behrens, your lawyer. Pleased to meet you. Mr. Ali, I know how difficult this is for you, but I want to assure you that I'm going to give you the best possible defense. I'm not a terrorist. Well, the charge against you is that you took part in an al-Qaeda meeting that was planning an attack on a U.S. Marine base in Kabul, Afghanistan. I have nothing to do with Al-Qaeda. The meeting was on October 22nd, 2002 in Kabul. Kabul? Mas Kandahar Astam. I'm from Kandahar. What I do in Kabul? I don't know, Mr. Ali, but we need to show that you did not take part in that meeting. Um, what day of week was it? Monday. Monday. Dushanbe, easy. I must be working. I don't miss work. My boss tell you other mechanics. Uh huh. And these colleagues of yours, they're here or in the United States? No, the all kind of hard. Uh, that's a problem. See, our, our investigation is limited to this area. 
I don't understand. Well, the administration doesn't want terrorists to contact their cohorts back home. So defense research and investigation is limited to this region. But I have never been here before. Well, maybe you have something with you, or, or you know someone in the United States who can back up your story. I tell you, I don't know anyone in this country. I was going home from work. Some men, they captured me, they tied me, they take me to American camp. American camp say they give reward, big reward, for Al-Qaeda. I am not Al-Qaeda. Don't they have show proof of meeting of other side? The prosecution? Yes, of course. And if we can show their proof is weak or contradictory, then we have a case. What the proof? I can't reveal that to you. It's classified information. What? Well, if the terrorists get a hold of that information, then they'll find out who gave it to us. And that'll compromise our defense sources and methodologies. I'm not a terrorist. Look, Mr. Ali, I can cross-examine the witnesses and cast doubt on their story. I'm very good at that. These military tribunals still have to follow basic principles of justice. You're innocent until proven guilty. Military Tribunal? Yes. Judges are from Army? Yes, a panel of military officers. But they still have to abide by the law. <laughs> the law. American law. Well, not quite. Uh, the U.S. courts have determined that Guantanamo Bay is not part of the sovereign United States. Therefore, we are not bound by American law. But they sacked in what law? The Army makes the rules. So still American law. Well... The prosecution, the other side, who they? They're Army officers too. Can I ask you something? Yes, of course. Anything. And Colonel Barron, sorry to interrupt, sir, but may I see you when you're through with the detainee? Of course, Major. I'll see you in your office soon. Yes, sir. What were you going to ask me? And Colonel Barron, sorry to interrupt, sir. I want my own lawyer, not American, not from Army. Look, Mr. Ali, everybody in the Army isn't the same. Look, you can't get rid of your assigned military lawyer. You can have a civilian lawyer, but he has to be a U.S. citizen, and he can only assist me. And you have to pay for it yourself. Can you afford that? I want my own lawyer. A civilian lawyer doesn't have access to the same classified information. I'm your best bet, Ali. Why don't you just hang instead of playing these games? Mr. Ali, would you uh, come over here, please?
Ms. Holm. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Mr. Ali. Goodbye. His office. What's he in such a good mood about? He's not even killed himself lately. Mr. Ali, hello. I'm your lawyer, Andrew Scottsdale. But my lawyer is Edgar. He's been taken off your case. I'm replacing him. Now, I have some questions I need to ask Why you. was he taken off? Can we talk about the charges against you, Mr. Ali? Why was he taken off? If you must know, he's been arrested. He was found trying to contact someone in Afghanistan for a detainee here. He's going to be court-martialed for aiding terrorism. You shouldn't consider this a setback to your case. I don't like to toot my own horn, but I've had much more trial experience than Edgar, particularly in criminal cases. I've never lost a case so far. That's Harvard Law School for you. You're going to get the best possible defense. You should consider yourself lucky, Mr. Ali. Now, there are some facts I need to get straight. I see here that you've been charged with conspiring in a terrorist attack on the U.S. Marine camp in Kabul, Afghanistan. 